I love the way you smell when you get out of the shower. Mm, you look particularly gorgeous this morning. Very lawyerly. Lawyerly, huh? Mm. Well, that's good because I have a case. You do? Mm -hmm. First back in private practice? That's great, isn't it, a biggie? It could be, yes. So tell me, since you're obviously going to win, who's the poor guy that's going to lose? Mad dog. So tell me, who's the pigeon? Blake, why don't you sit down? Uh-oh. No, just sit down. I don't think so. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong. Then why do you have that look? What look? What are you talking about? That look, the look you get when you tell me something bad. Why don't you just... Come in. Hi, Ed. Hi, I'm, uh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's fine. We were just talking. Uh, I screwed up with the milk this morning. Oh. I, I forgot that Michelle needs milk with her cereal. Could I... That's fine, fine. Go ahead, help yourself. Thanks. We'll talk tonight. Edward, you take care. I won't make a habit of this. Um, why don't I, I go into your kitchen and see what else you need? Oh, you don't have to. I've, I've hired a housekeeper. It's, it's just the little things I don't seem to be able to get a grip on. You know, it, it's going to take some time. There was going to be plenty of time, and now I'm rattling around that house, uh, looking for things to do, fixing things Maureen wanted me to fix a year ago. Why don't you and Michelle come over for dinner tonight? Tonight? Sure, I'll, I'll make something really simple, something I can't even ruin. It's going to sound crazy, but I, I have, I have difficulty even thinking that far ahead. So. even with people around. <clears throat> it was nice of you to send flowers on the day of the funeral. Who else would send dozens of white lilacs? Ed never knew. They weren't for him. I'm gonna miss her. Yeah, me too. It's the only person in this whole rotten town who ever made me feel... I don't know, validated. There were times last year that I don't think I would have made it without Maureen. She, she, she listened to me and, and she gave me a little advice and she just made me feel like I was worth something. <laughs> Sometimes she was more like a mother to me than, well, you know. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder what it would have been like if, um... That's funny. I was just wondering something about that myself. I missed you, too. I was hard on you. I hurt you, I know that. Yeah, so my response is to punish you by pushing you away, not exactly the way Maureen would handle it, right? We both could have learned a lot about generosity from her. Maybe we still can. Maureen would have wanted you to give me and Ross a chance. Chrissy. Daddy, I really care about him. Look, it's not... It's not just how I feel about him personally, okay? It's... I don't think he's the right man for you. But look at what he gave up for me. He... He, he gave up the Senate seat. Doesn't that say something? I, I know that you're not going to be best friends. I'm not asking you that. I just... Couldn't you try to get along? Come on. Let me buy you something to eat at the club. I would love that. After 
After all, there's really no reason for you to fight with Roth anymore, is there? I told him Jenna's father never got a penny for his idea. Meanwhile, Spalding goes on to make a fortune. Unbelievable. That's why she's suing him. You know, she could use a good PR person. Are you interested? Well, I am out of work. Gosh, it's been a long time since we've been here together. A lot of nice memories in this place. If only you and Ross could call it truth, then my life would be perfect. You know, don't you, that Jenna is risking a lot of money by not accepting her offer. Miss Folding's ruined her life. Not to mention you losing the fee, Leo. Ross, we are going to win this case in court. You did tell Jenna about our offer, didn't you? What are you suggesting? Who the hell do you think you are? The man you just recently lost to. Not this time, Ross. Well, let's just say, for argument's sake, that you do lose. Do you think Roger Thorpe is going to throw you any more bones? Hi. Can we join you? This is an odd couple. Well, Leo and I were just finishing up. Strange bedfellows, but then you're used to unusual couplings. Dad. Marla was just telling me he's going to be defending Spalding against Jenna Bradshaw. Oh, that's perfect. Life just gets more and more interesting, doesn't it?